I'm Matt. I'm Heather. And it's Tuesday. <laughs> All right, Heather. Well, here we are once again on a Tuesday evening. Yes, nice brisk night. It is it a nice. Good. It is a nice brisk night. It was actually very chilly this morning. It was. I came was. out, you know, I came out with shorts on, you know, my flip flops, <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I should have put pants on. You should have. You should have. It was. It was chilly. I wore a jacket to work. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. It was chilly yeah. this morning, and I said to myself as I was, you know, going into school, well. You Did know, you kind of say, hey, self? What do you mean? When you were talking to yourself on the way in? Yes, I, maybe I did. I was talking to my Bitmoji. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Bitmojis, everybody is telling me that my Bitmoji looks like our principal at the elementary school, John Rivers, who's been on this show many times before. Well, I'll have to check it out. Uh, we're going to have to get a picture with him and, and yeah. pe let people we'll decide compare. here on our social media yeah. sites if I really look like John Rivers, the principal of the elementary huh. school. Who knows? Well, Who knows? What happened on your way into school? Well, when I was going into school, I said to, when I came outside, first of all, it was chilly, and I said to myself, well, you know, I was going to wear shorts, and why am I going to wear shorts? Because we're back to school, but not really. <laughs> it's all virtual, so the kids only see me from here up. You they could have wore your pajamas. They see this. That's it. So they don't know if I'm wearing shorts or what I'm wearing. So I said, you know, I'll just keep the shorts on. Yeah. But this is what they see on the computer yeah, screen. It is. Yeah. So we've been back now for two days. We survived the two days. Very good. Uh, I did tell them about the show. I don't know if they checked it out or not, but I'm sure they will. They might be eye spying I'm you. Sure I'm sure they like are spying. Yes, yeah. But we're back to school, and uh, it's been quite the experience. Now, you have... <laughs> virtual meetings i'm sure correct? yes i have a lot yeah you do yeah and what what's your what has been your experience at these virtual meetings um actually they've gotten a lot better um from different technologies meaning okay. we are now switching from some zoom <clears throat> meetings to go to meetings go to and there are different platforms so really you know what for is example, go to go to meeting actually um used to be something i used a long time ago before Zoom, but I'm sure they all existed around the same time. Mm -hmm. And it's the same platform. It's the same exact thing. You have pictures, okay. you have voiceover, um, you can do presentations. Right. Um, you have the ability for more people. So through okay. the, the one Zoom that our go-to meeting I did today, you have up to 500 people. And you can wow. section them out into team meetings. Wow. It's kind of okay. like the new conferences because right now you can't hold conferences right. with breakout sessions. So they have them on Zoom and you all sit at the breakfast, mm -hmm. opening breakfast, and wow. then you break out into Do different rooms. Do they send rooms. you the breakfast? No. <laughs> they don't. I have to eat my same oatmeal every day. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Yep. Well... Uh, we're getting through, and I'll tell you, one of the coolest things that I've learned in the last two days is we had like an Elmo. It's called it's a document yeah, camera. Yep, I know what an Elmo is. Well, you know, you can put something under there, and it projects, you know, usually yep. on the screen somewhere. Well, this projects virtually into the Google Meet. Okay. And the kids can actually see what is I have in front of me on their computer screen. It was the coolest thing I've ever... That is really yeah, cool. Yeah, it really was. It Very really cool. Was, yeah. You know, the technology, specifically during COVID, I think has stepped it up a notch. Yeah, in I, I think so. In trying to find these solutions for yeah. these home teachings yeah. and or, you know, yeah. socially distanced meetings, so on and so forth. Yes. Yeah. Socially distant. You know, that's that's the new words. New words of 2020. Socially, don't touch me. Socially distant is one of them, you know, that's one of the new words here. I've never yeah. heard that before. But speaking of kids, now uh, in two weeks we're going to have uh, a special kid corner. I had uh, Chase and Ab uh, Emerson Abrahamson here that's right. uh, on their birthday, of course, and they made me a slime bubble. <laughs> and you don't want to miss this. This is going to be in two weeks. We're going to show this piece, a little kid corner uh, of these kids on uh, what they did here. So I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, I am too. Uh, and seeing that. And then, of course, this Saturday, 
uh, is the cat auction yeah. down at the historic Catskill Point. I heard it's the only event that we've had in 2020 at the historic <sighs> Catskill Point. Yeah. Because of the, the virus. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. a lot of our brides had to reschedule and or cancel and or do a smaller yeah. event, you know, not event, but so a So have they in rescheduled for next year? Some have. Some have, okay. Some have actually just, you know, Put on some old. have done their own weddings in their backyards and downsized a little. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope we're getting back to normal a little bit, you know. I, yeah. I think we are. I, I mean, I don't know. I think things seem to be moving in that direction. I hope so. I hope so, too. I, I mean, really hope is... so because it, it, it's, yeah. it would be a loss for our children. The, the one big key it's a thing bug that my wine. <laughs> uh, the children need is socialization. That's true. And some children don't get enough of it. <laughs> some get a lot of it. But it's, it. you know, and I we know we say social distancing, but we the children, they just, they need to mock. They need to, you know, react. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that through, I mean, they get enough of the computers and the technology yeah. at home, yeah. you know, where their parents have that. Um, well, I had someone tell me, uh, you know, what, you know, I posted on our social media that we were going back to school virtually. And I had someone tell me that, well, it's, you know, just a daytime version of Live with Matt. <laughs> so, yes, it's been yes. a daytime version of Live with Matt. And uh, I'm sure everybody would be interested in watching those as yeah. well. But do know, there are schools that are back. Yes, there are. Yes, there are in schools person. that are back in person yep. all the time. Yes. Yep. Um, in New York, there are schools that are back part time mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. other day. Yep. It'd be it's, interesting to see what happens, and we're yeah. gonna, we'll keep an eye on that. You know? yeah. and, but and why, just everyone be safe. Right, I hope so. I hope everyone yes. is safe. And, you know, and while we're doing this, you know, we wanted to come back into people's houses here. Yeah, and by, we did. Back by popular demand. And, we, uh, you know, we're just going to be here chit-chatting <laughs> with you for, for a week. We are outside, by the way. There's all kinds of, you know, flying creatures around here. <laughs> You know, but we are outside here on a Tuesday yeah. evening. It's nice out here. It is nice out, yeah. yeah. Yep, so it's, uh, you know, a nice little outdoor scenery here. Except yeah. I can't get any grass to grow. Are you kidding me? Give me a break here. Actually, it's looking better. And speaking of creatures, uh, next Tuesday on our show, we're going to share our segment on the cats. We went down to Main yes, Street while, we while did. they were there. Yep. And we're going to give people a little, you know, a little preview of what the cats were over the summertime yeah. in case you did not get a chance to get down there. In case you don't get a chance to go to the auction, we have that for you next week. Yeah. So, uh, Heather, I have a, a quick story I want to share with everybody before we say goodnight to people here. You got it. Uh, this past Thursday, I had a okay. doctor's appointment. Now, you know, a few years ago, I started going back to the doctors regularly. So I, I go to the heart doctor, you know, a family that runs in the family, heart okay. history. Yep. You That's know, important. so so I go to get that checked. So I go over to uh, the Columbia Memorial, you know, Jefferson Heights okay. complex over here. Okay, so I go in there, that's where the, the doctor's office is. Appointments at three o'clock, you know, I get there about five minutes to three, go up to the window, I don't see anybody in there. First of all, I couldn't figure out where it was, so I had to find what, what floor the doctor was on. I couldn't remember what it was. I'm looking on the chart. I can't find it on the chart. I eventually found it. I go up there. Nobody in there. I'm saying, where is everybody? <laughs> Don't they know Matt is here? Right, Matt's here. You know, I announced myself when I walked in. So I see some woman over on the other side behind another glass, uh -huh. you know, covering. So I go over. I said, well, I'm Matt LaVera. I'm here for my 3 o'clock appointment. And uh, she goes, well, they haven't been here for months. You have to go to the Hudson office. <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? Nobody told me. Really? So they, she goes, well, I'll get on the phone right now and see if they can still see you. Can you go over there now? I said, well, I might as well. Yeah. You know? So they get on the phone. They call up. Yes, they can see me over there. So I get back in the car, drive over to Hudson. Wow, that was far. Yeah, you know, get up, go up to that office. And uh, they finally saw me. And I'm in good shape. That's the best news ever. Probably because you did all that exercise going from one That's building to the other. That's probably right. You're right. So, uh, and then this past Friday, we had a very uh, special ceremony at our Green County Emergency Services building. Yes. Everybody knows it was September 11th. Yes, it was. Very tragic day in mm -hmm. our nation's history. Uh, and Legislator Tommy Hobart, who is the Chairman of Public Safety, yep. uh, had asked me to uh, be the MC for that event. So. 
Uh, I filled in for him, uh, you know, and uh, he couldn't be there. I go every year. I usually bring Dr. Cook, our school superintendent, uh, and he asked me to attend. And uh, it was a real honor to uh, serve there and yeah. be the MC and beautiful ceremony. Always is. Uh, Chris Tague was there, assemblyman, honorable Chris Tague, who wants to sit here in the, on this uh -oh. show. And he gets up to the microphone. Now, you know, if you've ever seen Chris Tague, he's a big guy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So he gets up to the microphone and he pulls the microphone, you know, up a little bit because I had the microphone down. Yeah. He goes, well, uh, I'm not as short as Matt Lavera, so... <laughs> it's like Chris Tague heckling me at a 9-11 ceremony. It's like, give me a break. So I get back up there and I said I pulled the thing down. I said I'm not as tall as Chris Tang. <laughs> <laughs> yes, funny. indeed. So, was so it was a, it was a good week last week. And uh, Saturday we had the Catskill Days. I don't know if you yeah. went down there down at Dutchman's Landing. No, you were not there. But no. I did see your friend Brian and Teresa. I'm okay. And I heckled them. You did. I good. did. You want to know why? Why? Because last week you gave them a shout out here. I did. You recall that? I remember that. And I said to Teresa, I said, did you watch the show last week? No. Are you back on? I'm like, what? where you been? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she goes, oh, I'll have to go check it out. I said, well, you, your friend gave you a shout out on the show. <laughs> so here's your second shout out, Teresa. Uh, you know, you're, you know. Sorry, guys. Yeah. yeah they didn't even watch it. They didn't even watch the show. Uh, they didn't know. <laughs> And uh, I was there, and actually somebody recognized me from the show. Really? Mr. Odell from Kuksaki. Okay. So it was, uh, you know, nice to... <laughs> so, well, thanks for watching. There you go. <laughs> Brian and Teresa didn't watch. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> So what was, what's going on in the world of Heather Bagshaw uh, over here? No, I actually had a pretty good weekend. Um, Friday night started out. We were supposed to go to dinner with friends, and that backed out. Mm -hmm. So Rich and I went down to 394 Main. Very good. And uh, had a One of my favorite fabulous places. dinner. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was just nice sitting outside. It was a nice crisp night. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't wasn't too warm. It was nice and cool. Mm -hmm. uh, spent the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, painting my deck. Ah. But Saturday night, um, so we decided to go to Weedle Bowers. Mm -hmm. They were having a uh, dinner and music, and I really just wanted some German beer and a schnitzel. That's what you I like wanted. That stuff. I do, I yeah. do, I do. And so we get our chairs and we've got, you know, we're bringing our chairs and we got a little table and we're going to sit out in the back and, mm -hmm. eat, you know, watch. And what happens is, is you have to have a table and chairs, like an actual table and mm -hmm. chair with a number in order to be served. Okay. Because that's where how. Where is this? Riedel Bowers in Round Top. Oh, round, oh yes, yes, I know where. So I, where was DSB, there. the band was playing. Mm -hmm. And so. They brought us out, they had a table added to the field. They do a okay. nice job, socially distanced, have tables mm -hmm. with chairs, mm -hmm. and you each have a number, so then they they have weight service. So as long as you have a table with a number, you get weight service, okay. and that's how they serve you. You're not allowed to go up to the bar and get your own drinks. You have to wow. wait for service. Okay. And um, we stayed for a couple hours, enjoyed, ugh, the food was fabulous, beers were delicious, and the Very entertainment good. was wonderful. I got to bring nice. the dog and relax. Nice. So it was a spontaneous thing we decided to do on both nights, but had a good time and then spent the rest of it painting. Very good. Which is good. Very good. So you had a nice, nice weekend. I did. Nice relaxing weekend it, here. It was in the a nice relaxing weekend. Very good. Very yes. good. Well, I'm glad you had a good weekend. Thank you. I'm really glad you did as well. Yes, thank you. It's a. Uh, you know, it's nice to be back here with everybody. Subscribe to our YouTube yes. channel. Check us out on our social media sites. And uh, we'll see everybody next week. You know, yes. we got a big show next week. We're going to do the cats. I like, know. yep. Uh, we've got people, you know, Lisa Dio, you know, she's been heckling me about, you know, are you are you on the tonight? Are you on tonight? You know, we got John Perino in one corner, Lisa Dio in another corner. You know, all these people heckling. Poor Matt here. I know, poor Leave Matt. Matt alone. Poor you know, Matt. What more can I do? You know, there's a lot of haters out there, too, but, you know, we're not going to get into them. Maybe one day I'll talk about them on this show and see what happens. <laughs> what are we going to do with him? I don't know. but Don't uh, spend the time. That's think true. Think positively. That's true. We should think positively, right? Spend good energy on positive, fun things. That's right. Things. Absolutely. That is Heather. what I want to leave the audience with. That's right. There's so many right. negative things going on in this world. 
I want everyone to And that's why we're enjoying a around. glass of wine here on a Tuesday night Be with everybody. Be positive. Get your wine at home Spend and have a drink with us. energies forward and be happy. <laughs> be happy. You know? Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. There you go. So <laughs> we hope everybody uh, yes. enjoyed this and we came into your houses again on a Tuesday night, uh, you know, to provide some entertainment yes. here and uh, just to talk. You know, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Just a little chit chat. And next week we have the cats. Chit chat. So with tune Matt. in. Just tune in next week and. Uh, uh, we got some surprises for everybody. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, Heather. Cheers. Everybody at home, have a good week. Have a good weekend. We'll see everybody next week. So long.